So the question scenario says, it's a hypothetical scenario. A group of children aged 3 to 5 years were saved from gangs who make poor children beg whole day. These children were taken to the hospital and they looked weak and emaciated. On examination, the junior resident present on duty noticed signs of severe acute malnutrition. They were admitted for treatment and initially they were started with F75 diet and slowly as they were recovering, they were put on F100 diet. What is the protein content for ketchup F100 diet? Again, the golden rule which you might have read, which you might have followed even in your PG preparation days. That whenever you have a lengthy question, look at the context of the question. Ideally, you should be reading the entire scenario. In case you are running short on time, always look at the last line. Here, the question is talking about a Sam child. And basically what they are asking is, F100 diet may how much is the protein content? So instead of asking as a one-liner, they have made a clinical scenario. What it, this clinical scenario does is, is it makes residents overthink. Secondly, what it does is, it also, uh, you know, wastes time in the actual exam. So, uh, always whenever you are short on time, ideally you should be reading the entire question, but if short on time, look at the last line and the context and you will always get your answer. So, basically they are asking F100 diet composition. So, the options here are 0.9 gram per 100 ml, 1.1, 1.2 and 2.9. You know that F75 diet has a content of 0.9 gram per 100 ml. I have discussed this in my videos and 2.9 gram per 100 ml is that of F100. So, what are the key points about this that you should know? So, you have F75 diet and F100 diet. So, uh, on one side I will write it. F75 diet, F100 diet. And the composition which I am talking is per 100 ml. Both of them per 100 ml I am talking about. So, first of all, what is the energy content or the calorie content? It is 70 to 75 kilocalories per 100 ml and it is 100 kilocalories per 100 ml in F100 diet. Then what is the protein content? It is 0 0.9 gram per 100 ml and it is 2.9 gram per 100 ml. Then looking at the lactose content, lactose content is 1.3 gram per 100 ml and it is uh, 4.2 grams per 100 ml in case of F100. Then looking at, then remember that zinc and copper levels are almost similar. They are almost similar in F75 and F100 diet, right? When we talk about sodium and potassium, sodium level, now talking about sodium and potassium level, sodium in F75 is on the lower side. You have about 0 0.6 millimole per 100 ml, whereas it is 1.9 millimole per 100 ml in case of F100 diet. In case of potassium, the potassium content is 3.6 millimole per liter, uh, millimole per 100 ml in F75. Whereas, if we talk about potassium, it is 3.6 millimole per 100 ml in case of uh, F75 and it is 5.9 millimole per 100 ml in case of F100. So, these are the key pointers that about F75 and F100 diet that you are supposed to remember. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.